Hey guys, it's DID Choi here, and I'm here with an update video to one of my popular videos, Delay Offsets Explained for Cinematic Studio Strings. Now, back when I made that video, there were a lot of different scripter plugins and a lot of different options that I hadn't completely settled on myself even. Uh, since then, I have kind of found my own workflow, and this is kind of what I do as a daily workflow thing. So I wanted to share this with you. This works for any kind of Cinematic Studio library, but also most other libraries out there, as long as you know what the delay offsets are. David Cadell, another great creator on YouTube and composer, has created a list compiling all of the delay offsets that are known and kind of contributed to by other composers in the community on VI forums. So definitely check that out and make sure your library is on that list. And if you know any offsets of your own, maybe contribute to the page. It'd be great to the community. All right, jumping right in into this kind of demo thing I've created here. Uh, I have an instance of the first violins on Cinematic Studio Strings. I'm just going to play you this little melody scalier figure that I just created totally randomly for the sake of demonstration with a couple different articulations. Everything is currently hard quantized to the grid. Now, if that is hard quantized, eh, I don't, don't, I don't want to hear what's not quantized. Anyways, as you can see, because of the different delay offsets for each of the different articulations, it sounds very much out of time. Now, most of this can be fixed with a very simple switch. Before I talked about different scripter plugins, we talked about the track delay offset. These days, I have resorted to just going with the region delay. Now, Logic has the region delay in units of ticks and note values, and they give approximations of the milliseconds, which obviously changes depending on what tempo you're using. Though it's not as accurate as just typing in 100 milliseconds down here, I found this method more advantageous for my uses. Now, because uh, Cinematic Studio Strings 1.7 is about 150 milliseconds, I'm just gonna start here. We can also just look at the figures here, how it goes from 320 to 240. So maybe I'll just type in negative 300-ish. That should give me just about 150 milliseconds. Now let's listen to this. What do we have now? All right. I don't know if you guys have picked up on everything, but one of the most notable things is this first note is very early. These staccato shorter notes here tend to be a little early, but everything else in between all these long legato notes, which are currently using the low latency legato mode, they are all perfectly in time. All right, so what I do from here is generally I'm just gonna go in and adjust things. Now this first note I thought was a little too high in velocity too, so I'm just gonna lower it down. That's not quite related to the delay offsets, but it also helps because it gives you a softer attack. Now I'm just going to go Alt and arrow key to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. So that gives me 150 milliseconds of delay offset manually on that one note. So let's listen to that. Everything is perfectly in time up to there. Right? Now I'm gonna take these short notes. This is a marcato and these are all marcato. This is a staccato. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shorts, which are not inclusive of marcados. And these all have a delay offset very consistent of negative 60 milliseconds. This is why I love Cinematic Studio. It's all very consistent and you know exactly what's gonna happen and what the example is gonna sound like, unlike Spitfire. <clears throat> <laughs> Spitfire, if, if you want to uh, send me any products to review, that's also fine though. <laughs> All right, because we did a 150 millisecond delay offset, now I've got to nudge it the other way by 90 milliseconds. So that's going to be nine clicks for me. Alt, right arrow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By the way, you can set these incremental values if you go into edit, move, and set nudge value two. I have it set to 10 milliseconds, so it will always be 10 milliseconds, whatever tempo, whatever grid, whatever time signature I'm using, which is very convenient. All right, and these marcado notes, and this first legato note, I'm guessing will also be early, like this first one here, so I will move these, but I might be wrong. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Now, is this going to be perfectly in time? Let's see. 2, 3, 4. All right, these marcato notes. I just forgot that because these are not legatos, these are actually 100 millisecond offsets. So let's go back five, one, two, three, four, five, and try again, two beats in. Bravo, now I have a perfectly in time passage. Now, some of you might be like, hey, why don't you just have the shorts on a different track? For my style of writing, especially when I have different articulations kind of on a per note basis, I just like to have everything just in here and I'll just nudge the value, whatever, it's fine. But if I have an extended passage, like this short passage here, which will also be out of time. Very much out of time. Now, if I have an extended ostinato passage like this for some kind of film cue, then I will separate the region out and have its own delay offset. Here, it's negative 62. I think that's close enough to 60. We won't tell the difference. Let's see how much in time it is. Perfectly in time, beautiful. So with region delays, you can actually set the offsets of different region to a different value. This one is whatever that is, uh, negative 120 ticks, and this one is negative 300 ticks, right? If I want it, for example, uh, I could also re-quantize these notes. Okay, re-quantize these notes, and I could split it right here and have this one be another different offset. Maybe I'll choose uh, negative 60. And then just these marcado notes, because they are a little bit more, I'll bump them another four milliseconds. This will also be a perfectly valid way of working. Right? So depending on what you want, I find region delay offsets rather than track delay offsets a lot more useful and in general a lot faster for my workflow because I can have different things on the same track with different delay offsets. Now, a couple more advantages of using the region delay is that when you delay the whole thing, all of your CC follows. So sometimes if you're just nudging notes, some your CC is just going to be offset by 150 milliseconds or something, which in certain cases for slower music doesn't matter at all. But if you're doing some really intricate stuff, that might completely mess up your programming. So just having the whole thing be delayed together is just a lot more convenient. Furthermore, if you have a delay on the track, then every time I press play, if my delay amount was 100 milliseconds, the music is gonna play after 100 milliseconds, which for me is really annoying. I just like to have everything play exactly when I press play. Some people don't mind and it doesn't bother them at all, so that's fine for them. But for me, it bothered me, especially when I'm recording or punching in or something like that. So just with region delay offsets, it doesn't do that and it just plays right where you say to play and it calculates the delays kind of after the fact as they come. So for me, that is just a lot more desirable. And in my humble opinion, I just feel like it's just more organized to have everything in one place rather than having 50 violin one tracks. I can just have the one, maybe two if I want to do some special thing. But, you know, I can keep everything to a minimum where I can see everything very nicely laid out. I know that this one is a shorts passage. I know that these can be separated out. I don't have things sticking out. Like if I use a manual nudging, then I can't cut like right there because it's sticking out, right? With region delay, I can have everything hard quantized if I wanted to, or I can humanize it even and not have everything hard quantized but still have everything perfectly in desirable time. So hope that tip helps you guys. For more, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all of that stuff. This has been DID Choi, and I'll see you in the next one.